Welcome to the first video in the OCR H446 Computer Science A-Level series for Paper 1. If you learn OCR GCSE Computer Science, then the first few topics are quite similar, but you need to know the steps and processes of the Fetch to Code Execute cycle in a lot more detail than at GCSE level. We will build up our knowledge in the first three videos and pull them together in the fourth, starting now with the components of the CPU. The Central Processing Unit, or CPU, processes instructions and controls the flow of operations within the computer system. It does this by constantly repeating the Fetch to Code Execute cycle. There are three key components inside the CPU, the Control Unit, the ALU, and the Registers. The control unit coordinates the CPU by sending control and timing signals to direct operations in other components such as the ALU, memory, and input and output devices. It also decodes instructions during the fetch to code execute cycle and manages the flow of data within the processor. ALU stands for Arithmetic Logic Unit. The ALU performs mathematical calculations and logical operations, such as binary arithmetic, comparisons, and bitwise shifts. These appear in section 4 of paper 1. Results of processing in the ALU are often stored in a register called the accumulator. A register is a very fast temporary storage location within the CPU that can hold data, addresses or instructions. There are five specific registers you need to know, each with its own purpose. We will look at what each register stores and its purpose in the next video. I mentioned earlier that there are three main components of the CPU because that's what the OCR A-level specification lists, but in modern CPUs there's also cache memory. This will appear in the CPU performance video in a few topics time in more detail, but we'll take a sneak peek now. So cache memory is small, very fast memory located inside or close to the CPU. It stores frequently accessed data and instructions, and due to its proximity to the CPU, it is significantly faster to access than RAM. Cache memory is organized into levels, level 1, 2, and 3, with higher levels being larger but slower.